cold and snowy. That's how 2022 kicked off, just like every winter in Saskatchewan. The only difference? It lasted well into spring. Southeastern Saskatchewan was battered by repeat snowstorms in April. One in particular brought strong winds and up to 50 centimeters of snow around Mooseman. Well, last year we had nothing. We were actually golfing today. It's about three feet of snow and it's, uh, it's, it's heavy and it's kind of wet. It's, it's not nice. But the moisture was needed. It ended prolonged drought on the eastern side of the province and the western side got some relief too. Then some places got too much too fast. 75 millimeters of rain fell in just a few hours in Saskatoon in June, and nearly 100 millimeters fell in the Battlefords, shattering a single day rainfall record. But for some, it meant flooded basements. Oh my God. And all that moisture spawned thunderstorms and tornadoes. 2022 was unlike the last two years, where dry, smoky air kept storms away. 25 tornadoes touched down this year, the most since 2012, but not much above the average. One tornado did considerable damage near Foam Lake. Chris and Ruth Gislason estimated their daughter's farm received millions of dollars worth of damage. Tornadoes started to happen about a mile uh, straight west of the yard here and we followed it uh, when it hit the yard and then hit our bin yard. And after the storms came the heat. Grasshoppers invaded some fields in south and central Saskatchewan as a result, stripping everything in their path. Although overall, Saskatchewan farmers reported a much better harvest than the year before. September saw around 70 temperature records broken province-wide, and LaRange saw its warmest and driest October on record. It was all thanks to a large upper atmosphere pattern, and it stayed put for a long time. And the year is now ending in a fierce cold snap, and there's likely more of this in store. This winter is the third in a La Nina pattern, where cooler ocean temperatures make the prairies snowier and colder. It's very rare for La Nina to linger this long, but the forecasters at Environment Canada say it could end soon. There are indications already that it's weakening. The sea surface temperatures are coming up. It is forecast to become uh, neutral. Uh, through the spring and into the summer. But with Saskatchewan's ever-changing weather and climate change pushing the envelope on extremes, we can expect more volatile weather in 2023. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Regina.